Hi, welcome back to part two of this video series, High Performance Synthetic Strings. And if you haven't watched part one, make sure to check it out and you'll find out why I picked these four synthetic strings. All right, so here's a quick recap of what I covered in part one of this video series. I took four synthetic strings, Bablot Synthetic Gut, Prince Lightning Pro, Head Velocity MLT, and well, Wilson NXT Power. I strung them up at the same tension on four of my rackets. I took the initial string bed deflection and string tension readings. And then I took additional readings after a day, one week, two weeks, three weeks, and finally four weeks. And during that time, I hit with each of the rackets for about two hours. All right, so let's go out in the court and I'll tell you more about the strings. During my initial play test on the ball machine, I used each of the four strings on various strokes. Babolat Synthetic Gut. It felt like the ball launched off of the strings to the point where I didn't feel connected to the ball, which in the end meant less control. What stood out the most was how much it got stuck out of place after this first hitting session. Prince Lightning Pro. Like the Babolat, this has a solid construction with a single wrap of fibers on the outside. What makes a difference is the powerful layer, which adds a little texture. Although it was rated as the softest of all four of these strings, it felt the firmest with the benefit of good control power. Head Velocity MLT. As mentioned earlier in part one, this was the most comparable to the Lightning Pro. However, it felt quite different. It had good pocketing and very connected to the ball in terms of feel, however, with less power compared to Lightning Pro. And finally, Wilson NXT Power. It felt similar to the Velocity MLT due to the multi-filament construction. It had excellent pocketing, which was great for control. In addition, it had more pop or power compared to Velocity MLT. All right, so let's take a look at some readings. We'll start off with Babolat Synthetic Gut. Now you'll notice that all the readings in red represents the RDC readings and the green is the ERT 700. So what stood out in this was uh, in the Babolat Synthetic Gut was the 66 here on the RDC reading. Uh, even though the uh, ERT was comparable here at 55, 55, 53, 55, the 66 is uh, quite a bit higher, well, a couple units, but um, in the end though, you'll notice that it ends up to be the lowest in terms of uh, uh, string bed deflection and uh, string tension loss resulting in the highest percent right here. Uh, the other thing I noticed that was interesting was on the other three strings after week one, you'll notice that the, uh, the amount of loss here at 19% stayed pretty uh, consistent and ended up in 22. The 17 was 17 here. The 18 went up to 19. The 14 stayed at 14. Uh, 16 to 18 and then 13 stayed at 13. But if you come up here at the Babolat, it went from 28 to 34 and 17 to 24. So that tells me that this string kept dropping after the one week mark. Prince Lightning Pro. The string tension on this, uh, which was surprising to me, which I never knew, uh, dropped quite a bit, 13% uh, overnight, which is the highest of all four strings. So what this is telling me is that um, I'm gonna start experimenting by pre-stretching these strings uh, from now on and uh, track the tension there. But what was good to see is that even though it did drop to 13%, after week one, it went to 17, but it stayed throughout the four week period. So that was good to see. Uh, in the end though, the uh, string bed deflection did drop down to 22. Um, and again, the 17 stayed under that 20% uh, mark that I was using as a criteria earlier. Head velocity MLT. Now the highlight of this string was this very low percentage of tension loss, only 4% here uh, after day one. However, after week after week one, it dropped a 10%. So that was quite a bit of a drop there. But what was, what was good to see though after that was that this 14 stayed at 14 throughout the uh, four week period. 
in terms of string bed deflection and string tension, uh, this string performed well under the 20% criteria that I used to select these strings. And finally, Wilson NXT Power. Now, if you take a look at week one, uh, these strings mirrored the head velocity MLT pretty closely at, um, if you compare the 18 to the 16, 19, 18, 19, 18, 19, 18. And we'll take a look at the string tension 14, 13, 14, 13, 14, 13, and 14, 13. So in the end though, um, the Wilson NXT power uh, by 1% on both of these uh, readings did come out ahead. So I guess I'll have to give the high performance synthetic string award to Wilson NXT power. All right, so here are some key takeaways from this review and comparison. Now, although the Wilson NXT Power came away with the High Performance Synthetic String Award, it does come with a price tag of $22 a set. Then next we have the Head Velocity MLT. And if you like a pocketing feel of a multi-filament, which is comparable to the NXT Power, it's a great option for half the price. Then we have my Prince Lightning Pro. Now it does provide a crisper feel compared to all the other strings and it's a great price at $9 for an all-around string that can be used by itself or in a hybrid setup. Then finally we have the Babolat Synthetic Gut and it's a great bargain for under $6 but it is what it is. But wait there's more! I overlooked these strings in the Tennis Warehouse University that fit my selection criteria. And thanks to some viewers who helped point these out, here are three strings that I'll be reviewing and comparing in the next four weeks. Introducing in my part three video, Gosen AK Pro CX, Head Synthetic Gut, and Technofiber Multi Feel. Thanks for watching, happy stringing, and let's play with more strings.